We're going to start with the feet hip distance apart, released knees and engaged stomach muscles. As you open the arms to the sides, feel the shoulder blades engaging at the back and opening from the front of the chest, feeling that nice breadth across the chest at all times. We're doing 10 repetitions. Feel the head lengthening up towards the ceiling and breathing out as you open the arms, in as you return. Good, give the arms a little bit of a shake. Then we're gonna take the hands facing up to the ceiling and your elbows are gonna be in towards your waists. I tend to wrap my hands around the resistance band so I can get a little bit more purchase. And then you're just taking the hands out to the side by rotating at the shoulder joint. Make sure that the abdominal muscles are connected at all times. We're not flaring that rib cage and we're feeling a nice length through the spine at all times. Breathe out as you open the arms and in as you return. Again, we're doing 10 repetitions. Now we're going to work on your weakest arm first. Place the resistance band onto the floor and then you're gonna stand on it, again, hip distance apart. Take your arm down to the side and the other arm I tend to put to my hip to be able to help stabilize the body. And we're just gonna lengthen the arm out to the side and lengthening it away as you take the arm out and then lower it back down. Controlled movement all the way through. You should start feeling the lats working a little bit down the back. If you need to make it harder, then you can shorten the, the band. If you want to make it easier, lengthen the band. Again, maintaining that abdominal connection all the way through. Now take a little bit more band and we're gonna lengthen the arm out to the side and then 10 circles forward. I tend to do little tiny breaths on each rotation just to be able to make sure that the body's working well. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Switching, going back. Good. Stabilizing through the body at all times. Feeling that length up towards the ceiling through the top of the head and then release the arm down. Now give yourself as much band as you possibly can and we're gonna take the arm all the way over the top of the head, all the way down and then all the way down the front like you're doing a power grab from an 80s power ballad. Opening the arm out and then down the front. Again, we're trying to stabilize the body at all times so the muscles that are working are all around the shoulder rather than using the body and the momentum to be able to do the work for you. We're doing six repetitions of each of this one, going up and then down, counts as one repetition. Good, breathing as you go, stabilizing through the body. Now we've got your lucky cat to finish. Start with the elbow and arm at a 90 degree bent angle, and then you wave your arm like a lucky Chinese cat. 10 repetitions, feel the burn, and then relax. Now I always try to do the weakest arm first. This way you always want to make sure that you're doing even repetitions on both sides so you can get the harder one out of the way first and then you know how much to be able to do on the second side. Stabilize through the body. So we're trying not to move the hips, trying not to move the shoulders. All you're doing is lengthening the arm out to the side, breathing out and in. Release the knees so there's no locking going on in the knees and again, no locking in the elbow. So make sure you've got a nice soft elbow at all times. You're doing good. Now we're gonna go halfway between where you were and the end of the band. Lengthen the arm out to the side, 10 circles forward. Feel the arm nicely lengthening away from you and the circle is coming from that shoulder joint and not from the whole body. Then we're gonna go the other way. 10 circles backwards. Remember to breathe, remember to stabilize. Doing good. Now you're going to take as much band as you possibly can, lengthen the arm above the head and then back down again. Lengthening above the head and then down the front. Above and open it out and then above and then power grab down the front. Good, remember to stabilize all the way through. This will be used by the abdominal muscles will be helping you here. Nearly there, two more of each.
and the last ones. Good, then you've got your lucky cat to finish. Find that stable position and then just allow that shoulder to do the work. So the arm is remaining in completely the same position and it's the shoulder that is rotating the hand up and down towards the ceiling. Good, shake it all out and then just to finish off, stretching the delts across the body. So pull the shoulder down to be able to increase the stretch and then turn the thumb down to the floor and then this will increase the intensity of where you're stretching across the top of the shoulder. Turn the hand down to the floor and then just doing a small tricep uh, stretch, engaging the abdominal muscles, making sure you don't arch into the back, you don't flare the rib cage, and then lengthening over the other side. Roll the arms backwards, roll the arms forward, and you're done.